American Art at the Core of Learning is a website that consists of resources for teachers and students. It grew out of a learning community that took place over two years, involved 12 different museums in the Chicago area. The museum educators got together for regular meetings to learn about the new Common Core state standards in English language arts and ways in which the teaching that was happening in their institutions related to those standards. The purpose of the Common Core State Standards was twofold. First, to provide common expectations across the United States, and secondly, to make sure that our students graduating from high school were college and career ready. We were hearing from museum educators that teachers were unable to bring their students for field trips. Um, and the reasons they cited was that the, the administrators wanted them to, to focus on making the transition to the new standards. And we were convinced that a lot of the great teaching that has, is going on in museums and has been going on for years relates really closely to what the standards call for. It's important that museum educators understand, I think, the pressures that classroom teachers are under today. Uh, their role has changed considerably. Now the, the outcomes that they have and the amount of assessments that are done put teachers, classroom teachers, at a disadvantage in many ways. And museum educators, knowing their pressures, can more easily converse with them about their priorities and work together for the same goals. So what do we know about the city at the time of the fire? So it's 1871 Chicago. What do we know about 1870s Chicago? Art is really important. These common core standards and the reading and all of those things are very important. But how can, what are these other pieces that we can put together to help teachers, to help students, to really engage with these different works of art? Really our work won't have any impact or any meaning unless we are in true partnership with the teachers. And so, you know, just to hear that and just to hear that be reinforced has been um, a really grounding experience. I'm hoping that we can be of use to teachers and to their students on a deeper level so that all of the school programs I am charged with developing are practical and have practical usage in the classroom. We recorded video of some of these sessions and then broke down um, how these lessons were, were constructed so that you can see how they relate to the standards. We wanted to make the connections to these standards explicit. One of the key advances in the Common Core State Standards is that they ask students to read across different types of text, which means you might read a written text in a book, but then you also need to be able to visualize that and connect it with visual imagery or something that you see on a video or in live production. And so the idea of being able to, to build knowledge and to integrate what you're learning across text types is a key advance in the Common Core State Standards. And it's one of the gifts of this project. The website consists of materials that came out of the learning community. There are lesson plans that were developed by the museum educators working with K-12 through teachers and literacy specialists. There are high resolution images from the participating institutions collections. And there are texts about those works of art, informational texts, that were written by museum educators for students. In addition to the curriculum and teaching tools, there's information about the participating organization's projects. You can read about the student programs they developed, the teacher programs that they developed through this initiative. Besides bringing all the museums into um, alignment with the Common Core State Standards, which is a, an important project, it's the way that we get to work with each other across institutions, which we don't get to do very much. The fact that I could spend time writing and creating and working here, but then that there is a vehicle to help disseminate that work and help promote it in the schools and help connect it into um, you know, CPS uh, and to the teachers and the networks is, is really great for me because I don't necessarily have the capacity to do that very well myself. One of the great outcomes, I think, for this project is that in the long run, children are going to benefit because they are going to be introduced to so much more American art. We really want to make the lessons of the learning community and the resources from the learning community available to teachers, museum educators, and students nationwide.